Aloha everyone, it's me Kylie Osa, your transformational coach and what I want to talk to you about today is I'm doing what's called the let your light shine challenge in my Facebook group, right? It's the exhausted overachievers club and if you don't know about me already, I suffered from adrenal fatigue and I had to leave my corporate job working 72 plus hours a week and um, Wow. Through my personal health journey, I um, I ended up becoming a health coach. Anywho, um, Facebook just been really weird today. Okay, um, let's see. So what I really wanted to talk about today is today's prompt in my group is called the question that I asked in my group is what is no longer serving you and. What I really want to challenge my people about are, okay, so there are certain things that you are currently doing that maybe you're frustrated with, maybe, um, you know, things aren't really working out, but it's something like you feel that you just have to do because it's part of just what you do. But if you think about it, and I was just watching a video on uh, Michelangelo David, right? So if you look at how he created the piece, it was a big block of marble and he had to cut away the pieces that didn't belong to David. You know, so he had to chip away this big block of marble in order to get to the David that was locked inside. So that's what I want you to kind of think about today when you're thinking about what is no longer serving me. What is... You know what is kind of putting pressure on you that you know there's something inside you that wants to get out something that you know God called you here to be do and serve others and in order to find that you have to really get rid of the distractions and what is no longer serving you so there are three questions that I want to leave with you while you think about that so right we all want to change it is now February. <laughs> Our New Year's resolutions have probably fell away. All the good intentions that we had, that you know, that forward momentum, may have left us. So, um, what you gotta have to think about is what. So, number one is what has stopped you from having change in the past, right? So, let's say it's every year you want to lose weight, or every year you want to sleep more. What is really stopping you from having that? I mean, whether you think you're whining or complaining, you know, just write it all down. Like, have your little wine and pouty session, your spoiled rat session, and say, you know, or blame game session, and just really take a piece of paper and just write it all down, okay? What has stopped you from having the change in the past? Okay. And number two, the second question I want you to think about is, is what you are currently experiencing, is it empowering you or disempowering you? So um, I, I did a, a speech about life balance in um, like the yin and yang, about life balance and and things like that and you know yin and yang it's not necessarily good and bad it's just extreme parts of the spectrum so when you're looking at your life and trying to achieve balance and that's what I teach in the exhausted overachievers club how to achieve life balance so that you can be who God created you to be and let your light shine so that thing that um, came up at my meeting last week Friday was okay so some people feel that stress is like a good thing like you know the like people who procrastinate a lot like they need the pressure of the deadline in order to create the momentum to get them going because let's say something's due we'll say Christmas shopping right it's February we just kind of got done with that season Christmas shopping it's like oh my gosh it's not until December I don't even have to worry about it and let's say you're on December 24th, Christmas Eve, a midnight shopper, you know, and it's like, 
you like the adrenaline rush that you get from being under the stress. So it's kind of like, is that a good stress for you? So you have to think about it, okay, but is that really empowering you or disempowering you? Like how good would it feel to have all your presents wrapped and under the tree before Thanksgiving? So during the holiday season, you can just relax and be like, oh yeah, Christmas party. Oh, I have to bake cookies for, you know, the bake sale at my kid's school. I don't bake, so that's not me. But, you know, if you have to think about, is the stress really empowering me or is it disempowering me? Like, yeah, I would really love, hey Nicolette, I would really love to have that Christmas season stress-free instead of like, yeah, I kind of think that procrastinating is really empowering me, that stress is empowering me, but really, would you feel more relaxed and empowered knowing that your presents are done ahead of time? So just keep that in mind. And then number three, when you figure out, okay, is this habit empowering me or disempowering me? And if you find that it is if it's empowering and you want to continue that, or if it's disempowering and you want to discontinue that, really, who can support you to make those changes, right? So number three is who can support you if you want to make a habit change. And of course, I'm a coach, so I can help you with that, but that's not really what I mean. It's if you, you need an accountability buddy, hey, Bobby, if you need an accountability person to there, get you going and keep you accountable find somebody like for me uh with relationships it's my husband because i was involved in um a relationship that didn't kind of work out um with me and um this other lady and now he's my gatekeeper on who i get into deep relations with because i i allowed him to be because that the destruction of that relationship really took a toll on me like i I had her really like high on a pedestal and it really devastated me when that relationship ended and cause, or I'm, I'm not gay but you know like girlfriends like people you hang out with like I was hanging out with her like once a week twice a week you know and it was really disempowering to me when that relationship ended and so now my accountability buddy for relationships is my husband so um, yeah, and if you guys have any questions about what what's stopping you or keeping you from from having what you want, you, you know, click on the link, go to my website. It's a free 30-minute call. You can just jump on that call. And we can really talk about what is serving you and what's not really serving you right now. And if you, it's a free strategy session, so just jump on the call. What can you do? Half an hour to me. No, just kidding, but yeah, I would really love to talk to you if you're struggling, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.